Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today's budget friendly video is going to be on fitness tools that you can use to help with your recovery after you've done your workouts or if you're sore. I have a couple tools here that are my go-tos that I use for um, my recovery that have helped me so much with uh, my muscles and just alleviating some pain or soreness that I have. Shout out to my brother-in-law who actually suggested that I should film a video like this because a couple months ago he was asking me what types of foam rollers and stuff that I have that are good for uh, uh, recovery and soreness and stuff. So I figured this was actually going to be perfect timing since I just completed the Chloe Ting workouts and I'm actually still doing a couple a day but I definitely talked about soreness and stuff in the video and I even showed a couple clips on me foam rolling so I figured I would show you what my tools are and uh, what I think is actually really helpful and if that's of interest to you then keep on watching. So I've got my arsenal of tools here and uh, I'm gonna go through them and tell you which ones I like, why I like them. Even down to like if I wake up and I have like a crick in my neck or I have, I slept bad, but usually my soreness comes from dance or fitness or working out and so I need things that can kind of help alleviate me during that. The number one thing that I recommend is a foam roller. This bad boy right here is gonna save your life um, if you are experiencing soreness or aches and pains and all that kind of stuff. So this is the foam roller that I have. I have one of the smaller ones. I do recommend this size because it's nice and portable. And this is from, this is Jane Fonda's workouts, of course. Um, but I think I probably got this at like Target or Marshalls or something like that. For me, it's easy to have on the go when I would travel for shows and stuff like that. I could bring it with me. And I feel like this is a good size for my body. So if you are very tall or just have a larger frame, this might be too small for you when it comes to rolling out on your back. Because as you can see, this covers me shoulder to shoulder. But say you were broader, you want to get one of the longer ones. But I don't need that for myself. I love this one. This is one of the firm ones. I I highly recommend this. I at one point had one of those soft ones and I do not recommend them just for the general types of uh, soreness and muscle aches that I'm experiencing. I just don't feel like it did anything for me. I would roll out on it and I felt like they weren't pushing enough against my body. I use this when I'm sore from dance, from, I use this on my quads, especially after the Chloe Ting workouts. Um, I use this for my back, especially. So anything where I have like large areas that I want want to roll out or stretch I use this this is so 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 highly recommend if there's anything in this video uh, that you take away from it I would highly recommend this type of a foam roller and like I said you could get the larger one the longer one if you need it but I think that this size is just right even with sitting on it you can see that it pushes firmly against me and it's not sinking um, but I like to if I wanted to roll out my lower back I would just push on it like this and I feel like it's just nice and compact where I'm not feeling like I'm gonna sink or fall off. It helps to like alleviate the soreness, roll out the knots that you have. I highly recommend it. That just feels amazing. Now another way for using these is that I also do use it for stretching or basically they're over stretching. This is more like in the dance world or if you are trying to increase your flexibility. Have my ankles kind of hanging on them and then I can just reach forward and I get like a further stretch and stuff. But that's just like something I do as a dancer. I like to uh, lift up the stretch. So instead of stretching on the floor, I can lift up the stretch and have it right here on top of the foam roller and stretch down and all that good stuff. So I really recommend this. This is the first thing I have for my go-to after these workouts or even before. If I wake up with any soreness or pain or anything like that, I like to roll it out with my foam rollers. The next thing that I recommend is a massage stick. So this one I have is from, it says Elite Sports Equipment. I'll have all the information and links in the description box if you're interested. What I love about this is that this is even more portable than the foam roller. So if you uh, are trying to target areas more specifically, you can get even deeper into your um, your muscles and stuff like that if you have soreness. The great thing about this is that it has two grips on either side. You can do your neck. Actually, I love this for my neck. It gives me so much relief. So I would just take it on both sides and I would just lightly, very lightly, because the neck is very sensitive, very easily just rolling that out. It's so good. And not just for soreness, but tension that you may have, like wherever you hold tension in your body. Another thing that's even easier on the go, uh, this is great for after class or after a workout, or you just have some soreness and I like to get 
even deeper into the muscles and uh, try to relieve all the knots that I have. You're pushing it against your body and rolling it out and it rolls out with really good ease. So this one is great. Oh, that made my neck feel so good. This is much, much more portable than say the foam roller and you can just kind of dive into your muscles, get into those tinier spots like your hip flexors. Not every one of these is a good idea. So this one I highly recommend. One that I don't recommend that I bought, this one is one that I would absolutely not recommend. In theory, you think it would work. It has little spikes on the end and so you would think it would give you a deeper stretch or just get very concentrated into the knots you may have. But these spikes are very bendy. And so they don't have uh, they don't have pushback enough. So all this does is just dig into my skin, and it is incredibly painful. Even just pushing it is actually painful. Now, if these were harder and not as pointy, I think that they would be better off. As I'm pushing in, all I feel are the spikes, and it's actually really painful. Now, the way that I think that this one could work is that if it had spikes that were harder and weren't so bendy. So this would be one that. I I would not recommend um, you may use it for something else and feel like it's the greatest thing ever but for what I'm using it for I do not like it at all and I just have not figured out a way to get rid of it <laughs> but I do always use it as an example of like the types of massage sticks that I don't prefer now something that does have spikes that I highly recommend this is something that I actually got from a dance store is this so this is a foot roller I'll try to do a little zoom in and you can see this has spikes but these spikes are not not moving anywhere and they're also not sharp they have a flat surface this thing is a holy grail so I got this for my feet to relieve tension and to help my feet be more flexible it can be difficult to roll on something so small but if you find the spot that it's at you can just kind of lean on it and you'll feel that sort of relief so this is for like that very small spot that you may have or that very specific tension spot that you have that you want to uh, alleviate i will stand on this as you can see and i'll just push down oh my god it feels so good i'll just push down and roll back and forth and it provides so much relief and massaging for my feet. Anything that you do that involves foot pain, like I would highly recommend this. Again, this is from the brand Rubs, R-U-B-Z. I feel like I must have got this at like discount dancewear, but I'll take a look at some links and again, have them down below. In terms of knots and all that kind of stuff, I actually recommend something a little bit bigger than this. I recommend a tennis ball. It's easier to control on your back and it also, because it's higher off the floor, you can roll it better when you're on the floor. So the tennis ball is like the OG, kind of like the foam roller too, for providing relief pretty much anywhere on your body. So I had this knot in my back that was killing me and I would turn like this and I would feel it and it'd be so painful. And the minute, talk about pressure points, the minute I lay down and put the tennis ball there, it was like, Ugh! like it really, found the source, found the pressure point, and I just had to slightly roll on it back and forth to relieve it. It felt so good. It was painful, but it was so good. So I have the tennis ball here, and then I would lie right on it, and you can see how much it pushes you off the floor, so I can just lean on it. If I have a knot and it's really painful, I will not roll on it. I will just start off by just leaning on it right here and then kind of relaxing into it and just letting my body like, experience the fact that I have a knot or I can like lay down like this and just kind of allow the, the um, tennis ball to just kind of ease right on to the knot. Yeah so I'll just stay there to start if it's really really bad and then when I want to kind of get the tissue around it I'll start to roll back and forth and this is really 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 helpful. All right yeah so I just wanted to bring a quick video and show basically the tools that I think are really 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 helpful for those muscle aches, those pains, the soreness. My top go-to is the foam roller followed by the massage stick and then the tennis ball. That's my video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.